Hi everyone and welcome to the final day of our ARM Tech Talks live from Las Vegas and CES 2024. I'm your host Tobias McBride and all week together with some of our incredible ARM partners I've been bringing you some of the amazing innovations at this show from our partner ecosystem. This Tech Talk series is the place for you to discover the latest trends, technologies, and best practices from the ARM ecosystem. So welcome and thank you for joining us. As you may know, 70% of the world's population touches ARM's ba ARM based devices. So it's very likely that whatever you've seen at CES this year, all the great innovations and demos that we've shown, of course, in our ARM Tech Talk series, but also throughout the show with all the great new product announcements, is probably going to be built on ARM. So if you want to find out more about our ARM Tech Talk series, just head to the link I pasted in the chat, arm.com slash tech talks, to see what we've got coming up. Because we don't just do these at events like this. You know, it's been an awesome week, but we also host a weekly series outside of this show. And as I say, we're finally on the final day of CES. It's been such an incredible week. There's so many new ARM innovations at the show. And if you've missed any of the tech talks, you can check out the playlist. You know, we've heard in automotive from RTI, Greenhill Software, Tata Technologies, and Tier 4, all about the software-defined vehicle, their innovations, their demos there, as well as, of course, discuss the new SDV Alliance. And it's been really great to see the innovation there. And of course, AI has been a big theme too. And we saw that with the new Lenovo Tab M11 announced at CES that's built on ARM. They showed us some really great use cases. So do check that one out as well. And actually, we get to finish focusing a lot on AI today because I'm at Synaptics and I'm thrilled to be joined by Elad Baram, Product Marketing Director of Smart MCUs. Elad, so great to see you again. Hey, so great to see you. Tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining today's ARM Thank, Tech Talk. So, you, you know, it's really great you're here. Really great. I'm so excited to see some of the demos you're going to show off. How has CES been? for you and for the synapses. It's been an amazing show. It's been an amazing week, you know, very crowded. I guess you can hear a little bit on my voice that it's uh, <laughs> towards the end of the week. It's hard, but yeah, it's been a great show for us. Thank you for taking the time and visiting us. Not a problem. No, it has been tough. I certainly feel like uh, my shoes and my blisters on my feet are very much there. I think I've done like 18,000 steps a day. So it does take its toll, but it's so great to see so many ARM innovations at the show. So you've got a lot of great products and demos at your booth, right? And they're uh, on ARM. I would love to hear more about how Synaptics builds the products on ARM. You know, how is that collaboration going? How do you see that? Yeah, so, you know, we are actually using a wide range in our wide portfolio. We're using a very wide range of ARM processors. Uh, we're in our connectivity portfolio. We're using uh, Cortex-R. Uh, right. Yeah, and we're using uh, in our um, multimedia processor, uh, Cortex-A, uh, different types of them, A73, A55. And also we're using Cortex-M in our smart MCU product line. So we pretty much use them across our entire product line. Yeah. Um, you know, we have been announcing on uh, November our Astra product line that mm. is making extensive use of uh, ARM processor. So this is really exciting. And of course, we are also using it in our audio processor. Yeah, and we're going to come to all of those today, right? This is really exciting. So we're in front of this Astra section on your booth. And this is uh, quite a new product line, right, as you were mentioning. So how about, why don't you talk about how we, how this Astra product line makes it easy to deploy AI on the edge on ARM? Yeah, so maybe I'll explain a little bit about what Astra is. So yeah. Synaptics has been deploying AI and SOC actually starting 2018. Uh, but we were doing it on a very specific vertical. Right. Astra is about going broad into the IoT and the embedded space. So what does actually Astra mean? It means that from an SOC offering point of view, we have a very high-end quad-core A73 going down to quad-core uh, A55 and all the way down to an M55 based uh, smart MCUs. As you can see here, this is yeah. a preview. We're, gonna, we're not going to disclose too much of the specs, but we're going to discuss of all the capability and the, and the use case. So the first thing is that in Astra, you are, we are basically proposing a wide range of processor from teraops, like this processor here, which is seven teraops, uh, wow. unto a few hundreds of gigaops. Right. So that's from the AI perspective. Compute perspective, we are talking on, on hundreds of megabytes, mm -hmm. uh, megahertz on the uh, MCU side, going up to more than two gigahertz on the uh, multimedia processor. So we are, we are basically proposing a very wide range of hardware platform. Right. But the really important thing is actually the software offering because we want our customers to be able to experience all of our processors and all of our products kind of in the same way. And we want to enable MDI to, to, to be kind of a, 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 frictionless, a frictionless experience, whether they do it on an MCU, whether they do it from an, an NMPU, 
they should experience it the same way as the synaptics uh, experience. So that's, uh, that's a very um, fundamental uh, part of, um, of Pakistra, having this uh, seamless, uh, uh, unified uh, um, experience for AI uh, de developer, no matter what type of performance and power envelope you want to deploy to your application. Absolutely. Well, you know, we're behind all these great demos. Uh, I've seen them up close. I've got a little sneak peek. I'd love to see if we can. Uh, I'd love to see if you can walk us through them. So, so to do that, why don't I just change the camera quickly uh, so we can get up close and personal with these demos? There we go. Let me just grab the uh, our mobile roaming camera here. Yeah, and so, uh, why don't you just talk us through what you've got here? So, so on the high-end multimedia processors, we have a uh, um, conferencing system that can do auto framing and uh, you know speaker detection and and uh, beam forming and all of all, all of the high-end uh, that is required, high-end video and uh, audio processing that is required for video conferencing. This is a very unique device, actually done by by one of our customers. It's a new brand of uh, product category, and it's kind right. of like. Um, huge tablet in a way that yes. is, if you translate this from um, from chinese it's called actually follow me and and actually people are using it as kind of as a multimedia device right when they go across the so it's become very very popular for the category we're very happy that it's being done based on our um, uh, hardware um we also have uh, point to point multimedia devices that you can see here done, done in our, our hardware um what you can see here again, we're not going to disclose too much, but this is basically a um, phase detection and object detection algorithm running on our brand new MCU. We're going to put more details into it in a, in a short, uh, in the in the near in the near term. But this is a very um, uh, exciting product category for us. Absolutely, absolutely. So you know, it's, and it's really great to see that you know use of all these um, AI capabilities. Here. And I do want to emphasize this from a customer enablement point of view, having a shared experience of we are making now a lot of new boards that kind of standardizing on mm. boards that we can swap those boards in and out with different processor. Again, getting this unified experience across the Synaptics product and different ARM processor that we're going to be using. Absolutely, absolutely. That's really great to see, and there's some great opportunities here. You know, we've seen in the ARM ecosystem use of uh, AI on the edge from not just Cortex-M, but all the way up to our Ethos-U product line, the use of Helium extensions as well. And of course, the importance of ARM virtual hardware here, right? So yeah, so, so it's a time to market. So absolutely. So I can share, again, from my personal experience working on the specific on the Smart MCU product line, is that we have been um, using, uh, or I would say, actually porting a lot mm. of software stack that we had the legacy. And we've been porting into the M55, and into the Helium DSP and mm. into the um, uh, Ethos U55. And the experience was really good. And specifically for the, I mean, the, the things that we really liked, actually, our engineer really liked is the unified workflow. So for example, yes. develop compiler that unified the M55, U55, that's amazing. So and it used to be very separated experience, the CPU and the NPU, and now it's kind of a unified workflow. This is very nice. Um, same goes for Helium DSP. So we had a huge, um, legacy code that is doing front-end audio processing. Mm. When I mean front-end audio processing, noise reduction, echo cancellation, beam forming, this right. type of application. We had to port it into the Helium uh, DSP and the experience was very good. Our developers really liked it. Um, so that's that's a very nice experience on our end and I'm sure our customers are gonna experience it the, the same way. Absolutely. Regarding virtual platform, uh, that was, Again, for me and personally, I was kind of I was tracking it from over two years ago. But now, when we actually got to the that we have a real silicon, I was um, surprised to see how efficient it is. We actually developed all our vision algorithm way ahead of time before we had silicon. And and actually, when we got the chip back from the fab, within two weeks, we had an end-to-end -end application. So that was wow. amazing. I mean, at the end of the day, the virtual platform it's just a technology that enab enables you to accelerate time to market. And it enables us with our vertical solution, and it's enabled our customers to do it in our broader IoT market space and in the, in the embedded space. Absolutely. So it's really great to see. You know, as we said, we saw Lenovo earlier in the week talking about their tab M11 and the great AI applications there. But we're really seeing this translate to edge devices and the applications and, and, and the breadth that ARM has with its ARM uh, portfolio we have. And as you say, the more recent advancements with the Ethos U, the Helium extensions for ML and DSP capabilities for M55 and M85 uh, really help. But as you say, that, that time to market aspect is critical for, for companies like yourself and others 
you know, with ARM Virtual Hardware. So if you're interested in ARM Virtual Hardware, do go to arm.com slash virtual hardware to, to find out more. Um, but this is really great. Is there anything else you want to cover on Astra, or should we move over so, to the yeah, other so, exciting demos? So, so yeah, so, so in, in the smart MCU space, uh, we are targeting uh, home security, home automation. So we are running uh, video, uh, um, audio uh, and vision analytics on it. Mm -hmm. So and we're going to disclose much more details, product uh, details in the near future. But we can go to the next demo. Yeah, let's go. So actually, this is our very uh, <laughs> high-end processor, as you can see. So this is running a more um, um, classical computer vision models like pose estimation yeah. and things like that. But what really exciting in this processor is that actually uh, it can execute the AI in a secure environment on a secure content. So this is a secure multimedia system. And one of the kind of interesting use case here is that if you are reaching, I mean, think of you watching like a Netflix uh, movie. Yeah. And you see this amazing white snow code by uh, Gal Gadot, right? In, in the movie and you say, okay, I want exactly like that. You press a button uh, and, and the AI can actually detect immediately like the specific color, the specific uh, closing that wow. it's, it's, been, it's being used and you get, you know, all the links to where you can buy it and, and, and so on. And all of that is being done in a very secure AI environment on a very se secure uh, encrypted content. Mm -hmm. So this is a unique capability that we have on those processors, on those secure multimedia processors. Absolutely. Cool. And that, that, that security aspect, you know, and the, and the links with, as you say, with the ARM processors as well, that's one of the foundations yeah. of, you know, that power efficiency and power, uh, powerful performance is absolutely key. But security and particularly in the world of AI is absolutely and, super important. And, and maybe I didn't mention it before, we are using um, Secure Island that we're using it across the Astra product line. And this Secure Island is also using a lot of the ARM uh, processors. Uh, yes. That we're using. So ARM is also a very essential part of us for our sec for Secure Island uh, IP. Absolutely, absolutely. This is great. This is really, really exciting to see some amazing AI use cases, but that's not all, right? This is just one small part of what you're showing off here at CES. Why don't we walk over and have a look at what else you're showing? Yeah, so we're also demonstrating a lot of our wireless connectivity products. Um, in the AI angle of it, I do want to uh, um, um, talk about the, the Wi-Fi sensing. Mm. So Wi-Fi sensing is emerging technology, and if you will... Um, we're going into the secret room that we're you going have. into the, the secret <laughs> room. And what you see, well, as we step into the room, you see the human presence and breathing detection. So, so this is detecting human based so on breathing. Once, once we got into the room, it detects my my uh, my, my breathing. I'm breathing a little bit uh, heavily, you know, post-COVID thing. But now you get this RSSI signal. This is the receiver uh, strength uh, signal indication. And by analyzing this signal, which of course being done on the ARM process on, on, on the endpoint, you can actually detect the patterns and you can uh, know the person in the room and, and even detect uh, breathing. Wow. There's a lot of application, a lot of application um, in uh, home, home automation, home security, mm. and even in automotive, think of uh, child safety, this yeah. type of use cases. It's pretty amazing. And, and the beautiful thing on this technology is that you don't really need a, a new hardware. So this is happening in, in between the, the router and the, and the endpoint that you're seeing here. You know, signals are bouncing all, all over all over the room, and we can wow. actually detect them. So this is really like, and when, when you talk ambient compute, this is really ambient compute because suddenly you can think of it almost the walls are becoming now much smarter. And Absolutely. You know what is happening. So this is very exciting. We are investing in this technology and we believe that it's going to be a, a big thing. That's amazing demo. Absolutely. Let's carry on. Let's carry on around here and uh, head out of this room and check out what else you've got here. Yeah, we also have here um, quite a lot of our uh, audio, uh, audio products. So actually ARM has been uh, the backbone of our mm. uh, audio processor for uh, many years. Um, our product uh, offering is focusing on enterprise and gaming, high quality uh, audio headset, both wired USB and wireless. Mm -hmm. And we are basically build those on top of the ARM technology. So, wow. So this is, M, I think you showed M33 here, yes, right? Yes, M33 is amazing. Amazing. So really great breadth of ARM portfolio being shown off here, which is great. It's some awesome use cases. You know, it's not just the AI on the edge, but I really wanted to see that wireless demo and, and the audio ones as well. It's so critical and so important. Thank you. Let's head on back over and uh, and uh, and catch up on the last few bits of the uh, ARM tech talk then. To do that, I'm just going to switch over to our other camera. And there we go. So you know, it's been really great to see all these awesome demos. You know, really, really appreciate it. And all the great ARM innovations here. Before we wrap up, though, Elad, and it's thank you again so much for giving today's ARM tech talk. Is there anything else that you want to kind of highlight to our audience today based on what we've spoken about? 
So first, thank you again. Uh, Not a problem for, for coming here. And again, we are we've been partnering with Arm for uh, many years. We really appreciate the technology, and we are taking we're making a, a, a lot of innovative product uh, mm. to the market. Um, watch Astra. This is uh, it's, it's something that is getting bigger and bigger, and, yes. and we are deploying uh, those processors again, as I said, across multiple uh, uh, application space in the IoT space. Uh, and if you want more details, please go to the Synaptics website. And thank you for having it. Thank no you. problem. Thank you. And thank you so much again, lad. Really, really appreciate you thank joining you us today's so Arm Tech Talk. Well, what a week it's been at CES 2024. As a first timer, I'm just still blown away at the sheer scale of the event. You know, 130,000 plus attendees, 4,000 exhibitors. It's just incredible. And as we mentioned, 70% of the world's population touches ARM based products. So as we look at all the amazing innovations shown this week, it's more than likely that a lot of them are built on ARM. And as we've just seen, a glimpse this week in our ARM Tech Talk series live from CES, you know, it's been a really great amount of innovations. And if you've missed any of them, they're all available on the ARM YouTube channel, including this one. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming talks after CES. We'll be back to a weekly series the week after next. Again, Elad, thank you ever so much for today's ARM Tech Talk. Really appreciate it. Audience, thank you so much for joining us again this week. And we'll see you again soon, where we bring you the latest trends, technologies, and best practices from the ARM ecosystem. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.